Jeremy Goche. Hey, Matt. It's Matt going? Lysak. Hey, hey, Matt. Want to hit up the beach? Sure. Love to do that. Guess what? Round two of the Gold Eagle Open 2023, sponsored by Latitude 64, is back at you. And Whoa. we're doing commentary for it. Hey, Matt. Yes. Which way is the beach? Guess what sign I'm making. What sign are you making? I don't know. I'm pointing in the same direction with both hands. Okay. Like a bodybuilder. Great on audio. <laughs> we are at the Beachside Course. It's a temporary course at Jackfish Lake. It is exclusive to the Gold Eagle Open. So. Don't get your hopes up if you want to go out there in the rest of summer and play it, because you got to play the Gold Eagle Open to play this course, and it is a thing of beauty, Jeremy. Looking good so far. And we've got some very talented players that are going to play it. Oh. In first place, out of Lethbridge, Alberta, Prodigy sponsored, and Gander, Rip, and NADGT, Noah Higgins, 994 rated, backhand specialist, power Don't. out the wazoo and can putt from anywhere yep can out drive anybody anywhere anytime yeah and we'll see if he makes the drink successfully or not oh he oh absolutely oh, nails it oh man austin boga from that, oh, Winnipeg. he just keeps going yeah he's oh, unstoppable man. oh jeez 974 rated he is good from backhand and forehand he is a tsa sponsored athlete thought space athletics uh oh big friendly alert big friendly is back kyle weens all right he is much more of a backhand player He's got an 87 in putting, and the guy is an absolute maniac on the putting green sometimes. When he starts getting hot, look out. And rounding out the card from Saskatoon, the last local to make it onto the card here, Matthew Erickson. Giving them two thumbs up. Perfect. He's what? got a great forehand, and he might even drop some overhands in there as well. Nice. I'm so, liking the shirt. It's yeah. Kind of, that's cool. Very stylish. So before we get started, let's get an update. Casey Hannemeyer has claim top spot in the Canadian Disc Golf Tour. This hmm. is the last event. He's not here. Brian Fries is not here. Uh, they lock up the top two spots. So Casey Hanemeyer, $1,000 to him. Brian Fries in second place. We saw mm. him all over the place this hey. summer. $500 now. Congratulations to those guys. Noah That's Higgins is exactly 75 points behind Thomas Gilbert. If he places first, he will lock up solo third place on the Canadian Disc Golf Tour. Yeah, but Thomas Gilbert's playing this event, isn't he? Thomas Gilbert is not playing this event. Whoa, okay, this adds to the intrigue. If Noah comes in second, he ties Thomas for third wow, that's on the awesome. Canadian Disc Golf Tour. Whew. So there is money on the line here. Okay, so what are we looking at for hole one, Matt? Hole one is a straight down the hill throw to a very protected green. This is, your, you're coming from Tournament Central and you're heading it out towards the beach here on these okay. first couple of holes. Yeah, it looks like you've got to sort of flip something up and just let it ride, I'm guessing. Yeah, something, you know, midi, straight. Uh, there is a little bit of room out to the right if you want to try and skip something in around the trees as well. Some of the guys might go for that type of shot. But this is just test your nerves, controlled shot, get it out there, a little over 300 feet, but it's downhill. Yeah, uh, these, so. these are kind of my favorite starting holes. Just, it's not a gimme. But it's, uh, you know, it's it's not impossible. Yeah. Just, it gets that shot control under control right away. Just to check and to see how it goes. Yeah. Low ceiling is the other challenge here. If you leave it up too high like oh, Noah yeah. does, you do clip some trees. But he's got power for days and, oh, stuck behind a tree. He's going to have a little uh, reach around putt there. You know, I bet you if he uh, didn't clip that tree, he would have chopped that tree in half. Yeah. Austin Boga. He is very comfortable forehand and backhand. So it'll be interesting to see where he chooses to go to the forehand on this one. Okay. Looks That's like it's about the shape over. if the disc finishes. Come back. Ooh, that looks long. Yeah. That was a shot. Well, that's not bad. Oh, he'll have a look from there. He's he's cleared all the, the trees anyway. Yeah, he's about at circle right here. And now, the return of Big Friendly. We saw him on Big Bear coverage from Canmore. If you haven't seen that, that was a heck of a watch. Go watch that. And hopefully that was a little bit, hoping that was a bit more overstable than he was expecting. But that kind of just burned into the ground, but still got a putt. And Matthew Erickson, I don't think I've seen Matthew play. No, I, I don't think oh, he's... that's a smooth throw, though. He's got a very smooth throw. Yeah. Uh, he's definitely been around and uh, played really well in the first round to be three down. He'll leave himself with a longer putt up on top of the shelf there. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. How do you feel about the protected greens like this, Matt? Filming or playing? Hmm, good question. Both. Filming Ooh, them, nice love them. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't, I don't mind uh, trees on the green. Hot take. Yeah, me too. And it looks like a little bit of rain settled in. So oh, all of a not, sudden... Not a little bit of rain. Yeah, That's we a didn't lot have a two-hour delay. This is literally from when we teed off to right now, okay. rain came through. Wow. Oh, 
Oh boy, I thought that was going in. Yeah. And nice I might have made some of these guys think a little bit about their grip. Sure. Maybe if they'd brought a, a rain fly for their bag, an umbrella. Any covers for their cameras? We didn't have any covers for the cameras, oh, so no. we were probably more nervous than anybody, except for Noah Higgins. Yeah, easily cleaning up. Casually drops in the long putt. He's, he's one of the guys this year that I've been able to, I've played with him a few times, and he was just dropping putts just effortlessly, whether it be from, you know, the edge of circle one, even like from circle two. It's so confident this year with his putt. It's, it's quite amazing. And not to say he's a bad putter. He's actually, a, he's always been a really good putter, but he's really leveled up his game this year. Yeah, he puts in the work yeah. in the off season, during the season. A lot of people think they put in the work, but Noah Higgins actually puts in the work. Mm -hmm. And you can see yeah. by just how smooth and repetitive that putting stroke is from him. Yeah, that that uh, putt is not fluttering whatsoever. Oh, just like he does it in the basement every single time. Yeah. Hole two, we're going uphill a little bit here, 294 feet. But you've got this tree on the right-hand side here to contend with. So do you want to go big dumping forehand? Do you want to go big floaty Anheuser around? And then it comes back down into this little cutout notch of forest here. Oh, wow. So really protected green. If you're blasting it at the basket and miss, you're going to be in some trouble behind some trees. If you lay it up, you've got a long but protected putt. Huh. So it's a risk reward type of shot here. How many times have you practiced it? Um, how close did you get in those practices? Yeah. How brave are you feeling? As soon as it turns that corner, how uh, how much are you going to risk it actually getting buried deep in the forest? Yeah. Noah looking like he's going up over everything. Is he going to try and clear the trees? No, he's just just getting himself in nice position, it looks like. Yeah. Might have been a little flippier than he was expecting. Yeah. Maybe caught a bit of wind. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's okay it's with it. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Turned into a bit of an accidental roller. <laughs> Be okay from there. Austin going with a big forehand over that tree. He puts the full body into that one. Is that going to crash in? That Oh, no. Yeah, it's going to be a couple of feet in the trees at Ooh, least boy. here. So. Uh oh, oh Kyle, you forgot. Out. Okay. So I thought he was actually throwing. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> you weren't grabbing your disc. Isn't that embarrassing when you go to throw a disc and you forget you don't have a disc <laughs> in your hand? Oh, look how I like that shape. Going to come in a little up. bit. Oh, that is gorgeous. Wow. Kyle. Fantastic. Laying it down. Not a big forehand guy, but doesn't need to be. No, no. If you've got all the shot shapes with your backhand, why not? Especially if you can throw those nice, uh, you know, the, just those nice little floating annies. Yeah. Matthew. I like what Matthew was going for there. He was trying to keep it under and get a skip up, but he just left it a little bit too high. Yeah. So he's got a tricky forehand approach into the basket. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh. That looks like a wall of trees, which is which really worked in his favor. That could have been buried. Yeah. Good. It was like a, a semi-permeable layer, <laughs> if you're a chemist. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. I bet you do. <laughs> it's like breathable clothing. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, if uh, only sweat gets through those trees. Well, Austin got most of the way out. Or at least out to a different place. Matthew looking like he's he was running, giving that her a bid, sure. which is great. Good to see. Yeah, I, I like how there's this this little hallway. If you want to try and oh god, oh man, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you knew he almost got a big one there. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I like how even if you lay up, you've just got this little corridor to putt through. Nice, nice putt. Yeah, it's a cool hole. I like a hole where the closer you get, it gets like almost exponentially easier to get the birdie. Mm -hmm. So if you're 20 feet, it's way easier than if you're 25 or 30 or 40 yep. feet, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yep. You get some score separation that way. So Austin actually did get through most of the way. Nice par cleanup for him. Get up for his bogey. Unfortunate tree hit right at the beginning. Yep. So that's okay. Back. That's the whole reason why we've got 16 more holes after this one. So, Hey, three pars and a bogey. Hole two. This course got a little bit of teeth, even though it uh, looks, you know, relatively straightforward for the most part, but it's, it's, it's got some danger to it. For sure it does. It's the shorter of the two courses, but it's got way more technical holes on it. Mm-hmm. And it's also got some really cool holes coming up by the beach. So cool. We sort of leave Tournament Central, head over to the beach, 
check out the beach for a while, head into the forest, go okay. on a little adventure in the forest. Cool. And then make our way back to the beach. Okay. And now yeah. hole three looking 333 feet. Looking like you want to get through these, this set of trees. Oh, stop and play some volleyball. Yeah. And then when you're done that. If you're a righty player, uh, there's a giant beach there that you want to avoid. And then the road behind the basket is all OB. Okay. Is the is the beach OB? I believe the beach is OB. Okay. That's a pretty cool feature. And a nice elevated basket too, <clears throat> which is a good, good play for this one. Especially if you're trying to run it, then that really brings the OB into 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 place really fast oh yeah oh this tee shot is a lot tighter than i thought noah going looks like he's going just over a, the tree pulling over and hopefully it's going to come back no <laughs> no what are you doing that, that was ridiculous <laughs> so oh, i didn't man. even mention the over top of the trees no route, I, it is technically a root oh my eyes hurt. That was really good. And Austin being inspired. He's also going big. Going to clear everything. Oh. He's got tons of power to make that shot happen. Okay. Is Kyle going to go for like this one might, as well? We might see a couple down low through the... Nope. nope. Kyle's, Kyle's going, going up the top as well. Oh, this one doesn't look... Oh, yeah. Okay. That hit enough trees to settle up a little bit early, which is good. Yeah. Good tree branch, bad tree branch. Call Matthew. it a medium tree branch. Looking to make a nice comeback after the next one. This tugs it over a little bit too much. He was uh, hoping to get some flex back on that one. Yeah, cut, cut rolled back into the middle of the fairway, which was nice. It's a dangerous game when you got a powerful forehand like Matthew does. Oh, yeah. You can hear He's the running feet it. <laughs> on the suddenly wet grass now. Okay. The squeaking of the shoes. <laughs> and then we had a bit of a situation. So uh, Anna Erickson, Matthew's, I believe, wife... Um, Sprained her ankle, and she Ooh. was a couple of holes behind us. So as Matthew was getting ready for his upshot, he noticed that uh, his loved one was in pain, which is never ideal yeah. in the middle of a round. Yeah, no she kidding. was okay. She managed to uh, walk it off. But um, nice to nice of the card, obviously, to take a break and check yeah. in on an uh, injured competitor. Yeah, hopefully it was a... I don't know if there's anything but a good sprain. I don't think there's anything called a good sprain, but... Yeah, hopefully she was able to walk that off and it was just a minor, minor injury. They don't call you the doctor for nothing. <laughs> I know. Ask me anything about right? the, the, the so. medical world. I got nothing for you. Both ETLs before. So she just had a knee buckle there. Couple birdies, couple pars. Yeah. As Matthew said, she has torn both her ACLs before, so. Oh. Yeah. I think she'll be okay, but not ideal. Mm. So we're hoping that you're feeling better, Anna. Yeah, no kidding. Best wishes. And maybe Matthew can make up for it by dropping some big putts in here. Sure. Well, let's take a look at the uh, scoreboard, Matt. How are we looking? Yeah, so Noah Higgins leading the way three strokes up on Austin after getting one on him on these first three holes. Kyle's still in third place here. Brandon Redekop, we saw him in the first round. He is sneaking his way up. Josh Smith from Alberta is three down through five. He was kind of uh, lurking for the first round as well. Yeah, so he's more than lurking now. Al, who we saw in the first round, three down through six. Great start for him. Uh, Thomas German, or German, apologies, uh, three down as well through seven. So there are people who want to get on this lead card going into the final round. Hey, Park Pro, man. Everyone wants to get on lead card. Yeah. So hole four is maybe the signature hole on this course. It is a par five, 676 oh, feet. Wow. It's a little bit short for a par five, but you will see why. That's the landing zone where those two guys are now, the okay. ideal landing zone. Oh, and, and from there, you have a choice. You can go right for the green and risk throwing it into this gorgeous jackfish lake because you're thrown to this postage stamp of an island, or you can lay it up halfway and assure yourself of getting onto the green safely having a nice short putt and getting away with a birdie. So big decision to be made. If you get a good drive on this one, you got decision time. Uh, and if you don't, you're probably just laying it up halfway and going for the birdie. Landing zone about 350. Yeah, probably around there. And you got to get through these trees as well. Yeah. So Noah, there's no, no cheating around the, around the left side. <laughs> Noah looking like he wanted to just uh, let the group ahead of him know he's on his way. Yeah. He's one of those passive aggressive golfers. If you're playing <laughs> slow, he'll roll it up to your ankles. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's not like that. He maybe pushed it a little bit too far to the right. I don't think he's going to have great footing here. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, Austin almost... gets to the short stuff, maybe a little bit too far left there. Uh, tough, dude. Would you want to be on the left or the right hand side to have a look? Because the basket's buried either way. I I want to say I'd almost want to be on the inside, on the left hand side. Just because if you're trying to work a hyzer, you have to really commit to that hyzer. Or you want to commit to that hyzer as it dumps in, where opposed to if you have, if you're more out towards the lake. Um, you really have to really push the hyzer angle to make sure that it comes back on time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I'm, in an ideal world, I want to be on the short grass, most importantly. Sure. Just exactly. Around. Don't even think about it. Just exactly what Matthew did there. Uh, he's played out here before, so he knows this drive. It really, on holes like this, it really helps to have got some practice in on it before. And Kyle is going for it. Uh-oh. But That's drifting. That's nope. going to be tough. Where's uh? We saw a few branches move there. Didn't you guys have a tree cam set up for, for this round? You know the battery died on it. Otherwise, we would have had that thing oh, absolutely locked in. That's too bad. I was expecting Andre just to jump in the trees to fill in, but uh, I guess he's got him other things going on too. Yeah. Matthew joining him in the forest. Now we know what classes you were skipping to play. This you know game. what? I, I take that back. I don't know if I'd want to be on the left side. Maybe I'll stick to the right. You can hear the footing there from Noah's shot. He was running up through some weeds or reeds. Oh, oh wow. And he just drops it under the basket. Ooh. Let's wind that back. Sure. For a park pro, slow pro replay here. Noah casually throws his disc over water. No one that's going to come back. Beautiful flight. Wow. Clink. Beautiful. Noah. That plane's so good. That's so good. He knew it. Yeah. And to match, Austin is going for it as well. Really brave line over the water on this one. Make it. Oh, stay up. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's that close. Okay. I told you it's a risky shot. Yeah, no kidding. Going for it on that second shot. When you got that much speed, your disc's hyzering in. Beautiful wow. up shot from Matthew. No kidding. Kyle. Does he have a window through these branches? Barely. Wow. Lots of nice out from there. And with one foot practically <laughs> in Jackfish Lake. <laughs> Austin Whoa. ducks the, the eagle. eagle. Amazing. That will get him temporarily to one back from Noah, but Noah is under the basket for eagle himself. Yeah. Matthew taps in with a great birdie. Kyle should have no problem with his birdie. Why it's the lead card. Yeah. Six wow. down for four <laughs> players on this hole. Well done, guys. That's well, amazing. Like I said, the distance on it is not really par five distance, but the difficulty most certainly is. Uh, we did see six eagles on the day. Adam Williams, Al Rabia, Austin and Noah we saw, and Clint Buchert and Josh Smith all got eagles on this one. Okay. And a nice putt, too, to solidify that eagle. That, that was not an easy task. Yeah. Well, looking like par or uh, hole five, par three, 265. Forehand, little turnover. Just don't turn it over too far. Yeah. Thick, thick trees. Yeah. Distance control, angle control. Yeah. A little it's, skip, maybe a skip shot up there. Although it looks like the grass is a little bit longer. Yeah. With the wet grass, you might not get a great skip on this one. Yeah. If you've got a big sky hyzer with the forehand where it spikes down, that's the shot on this one. Yeah. But. Yeah, trees 10 feet to the right of the basket. Yeah. Noah, he jokingly calls himself big forehand guy every now and then, but he is <laughs> not really big forehand guy, but is this going in? Be? No! <laughs> oh, Almost back to back Eagles. <laughs> Jeez, Noah. <laughs> oh, that would have been a good one. That would have been so good. Austin going forehand. Looking a little wide? No, yeah, looks slightly. great. Looks great. He's been making putts farther from there. Oh, Kyle. Rare forehand. The rare forehand. Okay, yeah. Just maybe a bit scared of going into the trees. Sure. Circle's edge is inside his range, though. Matthew licking his chops. Yeah. 
Apple pie. Gorgeous. So is your eye. Beauty. I don't think that's an expression. I don't think that's an you We've been hanging out too much, man. What, what I meant is, nice shot. <laughs> yeah, that was a great shot. Okay, Kyle looking to clean up from, oh, what? Maybe 35 feet, 40 feet? Just inside the circle, I think. 30, inside? 32 probably. Oh, yeah, okay. No, yeah, that camera, that camera gave it an extra 10 feet in my, my eyes. That or I need new glasses. Let me know in the comments if I need new glasses. Please be nice. Yeah, that should be birdies for everybody else. Yeah. So Kyle is going to give one back. He is a handful of strokes behind the leaders at this point. So far, Austin and Noah off to the hot start here through five holes. Yeah, cruising. Yeah. I think he's putting with a berg. Looks like that curved I think you're right. top flight plate of a berg. Oh. See the look he gave you? Yeah. He means business now. And that's how you throw a forehand, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Yep. Smooth putt. Textbook. All right. We're getting into the more technical side of this. Hole six is a 230 foot spike around to the left here. Huh. Very protected green. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say you can skip something fast and overstable. You can put a mid or a putter out on a hyzer and let it float down to the basket. These, kind of dealer's choice, whatever you're whatever you're most comfortable with on this one. These trees look pretty grabby. So the, the spike plate doesn't seem to be the number one, but the skip seems to be a right idea. Noah looking like he's going for that skip. Just pushes it a little yeah. bit far. Again, tight trees on the left-hand side. So if you go a little bit too early. Again, I like shots like this. It's only, what, 230 feet? Yeah. But you gotta, you've gotta you got to pump it out far enough just so it fades back. It's the, it's the perfect shot for an overstable disc. Yeah, and the pressure on some of these holes is almost like you feel like you absolutely need to get the birdie on this one. Mm-hmm. Which forces you to go a little bit more outside, maybe extra spike. Yeah, you're just gripping the disc a little bit harder yeah. than normal. Yeah. That looked good out of Matthew's hand, but it is a fair bit more left than it looks from the tee pad here. So really got to get something that gets around the corner. Uh, Kyle's crap. going with the yeah, the low, low skip shot. Overstable skipper. Beauty. That's a nice That's play. Nice. There's no branches on the ground. Yeah. You know, they say there's no trees in the sky. Yeah. There's no branches on the ground. Who, uh, who came up with that one? Carl Young, believe it or not. Really? Carl Young? Yeah. I just believe everything you say, so, uh, yeah. Carl Young. What a guy. Oh! I like some things about disc golf. <laughs> All a bit there from Austin, but he's going to have a bit of a nervy comebacker. You might say Carl Young's a pretty stable guy. You know? You might. Yeah. Nice birdie from Noah there. Has, a, has Noah missed a birdie yet? Or is he just... I can't remember. Anyway, uh, since the last four holes, it's been eagle birdie. He birdie. missed hole two. Okay. Which was that, uh, the big Annie around the tree with the little hallway. Oh yeah, okay, right. He salvaged a really good par in that one, but then he made a four with an eagle right. on hole four. So oh, Kyle. he's six down through the first six holes. That's awesome. That's, That's how Kyle you get connecting. some separation. Nice birdie. And Matthew tap it in his par. As you can tell from his face, he was hoping for a birdie on that Oh, one. yes. Oh, yeah. Six down through the first six. Just that easy. Wow. Austin doing his best to keep pace here. Four down through the first six. And Kyle, two down through the first six. Josh Smith is now tied for fourth with Brandon. He's gone six through eight. That's crazy. Matthew nice. Erickson falling off a bit. Al Rabia sticking around. Four down. Anthony Newfeld at three down through eight. Clayton Hines and Logan Amy, a regular on the Canadian Disc Golf Tour leaderboard as well. He's four down through ten, so he's made his way up to the top ten. Nice. Noah's starting to separate a little bit, but there are some birdie bogey holes coming okay. up on this course, so... Oh, the outhouse hole. Yeah. Guess where the basket is, Jeremy. You see it yet? Uh, no, not yet. You see it yet? No, I don't see it yet. Well, it's only a 200-foot oh, hole, so we're almost the, there. Oh, just... Okay, it's not there, and it's not in the fire pit. 
Left yes. or right? Left okay. or right? I'm going to go left. You're right. No, left. I okay. Went, uh, left. Oh, boy. Okay. It's such a unique hole. Yeah. If you had... If you could helicopter a putter, throw it straight in the air and have it helicopter down, that would be an ideal shot. But it's a really a distance control hyzer. Can you land it in this tiny hallway of a fairway? Probably eight eight feet wide. It all, it all, oh, yeah. I was going to say you could There's almost... an entrance on the left and an entrance on the right. Thinking, could you try to get a, a really overstable, like a splice... Uh, to skip in to get that real hard skip to the left, but then there's that corridor up the front. Yeah. Kyle, it looks like, is that a Berg? No, it's not. Yeah, that is a Glowberg. It is a Glowberg. I like this. Oh. Bergs give you the distance control. Yeah. So he catches one of those early branches. He might have a stab at it, though. Noah might also have a stab at it. He's going to be probably circle's edge and yeah. leaning around some, some bushes. I guess even, you know, Throwing up to the uh, to the opening. If you can get there, then you've got what a fifteen foot putt. Yeah. So there's, in some cases, I mean, you really want to be able to tap something in like this on a hole. Yeah. But uh, Austin shot was almost perfect there. He's just got some some limbs to deal with. Oh boy. On his, on his stance. Matthew a little bit low, but is that just going to trickle into the fairway? <laughs> Could have been a little dicey. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, it can be, can it? Thanks again, Simon yeah. Kluga, oh, yeah. for doing camera work on this, putting his body in danger <laughs> on these shots. Simon is the disc golf tourist. You huh. should check him out on social media. He's on Instagram. Okay. He's documenting his tours around North America playing disc golf. Uh, he's got some great shots from the desert in the U.S. Oh, cool. Doing the drone shots. He's uh, just basically living and documenting the life of a disc golf tourist. It's really cool. So check out Simon huh. Kluga at the disc golf tourist look him up he's doing some cool stuff and he did a great job on short notice with very little training with us here <laughs> park pro so oh, that's really cool yeah so he was just up in saskatchewan or did he uh yeah he's a local oh cool and he uh said he was doing some videography and he said uh yeah we'll put it to work i mean if park pro comes a calling you better be ready to go yeah good bunch of dudes that park pro crew and Aust oh. Aust Austin, oh, man. Uh, ex excuse me? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I think I saw a bird jump up in front of him right when he was releasing. I think Might that's what been, I saw. Might have been, I think maybe hit pole and it bounced out. It, that's what it looked like. Yeah. Yeah, Bass gets a normally going to catch it that one as mid. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Yeah, Bass gets it normally going to catch that one as mid. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Yeah, Bass gets it normally going to catch that one as maybe a little bit weak side, but. Oh, how many 200 foot holes? You yeah. see all pars on a lead <laughs> card, eh? Par frame on the shortest holes. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Let's see what happened to this putt. Yeah. Oh, it looked like it tilted vertically enough to hit the pole and then spat out. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we've all made that face. Yep, absolutely. Ooh. All right. Hole eight looking like a little tunnel shot, and it doesn't even look like the option of going up over the trees is even a, a thing. No, this is pure tunnel the oh, whole way. Another another 200-foot hole. Looking like you've just got to fight through a bunch of really tightly clumped trees. Well protected green. Yeah. Roller. Your class is sure. Why yeah. not? Yeah. Your classic tunnel hole. Yeah. And this is kind of like a pick your poison, pick your line. Yeah. You Noah know choosing to throw at the basket. Always a good play. Yeah. A little bit of turnover wow, gets what? really <laughs> what? lucky through those what? trees. What line was he hitting? Yeah. That's that, amazing. I'm not sure that's a line, but <laughs> just I thought he was going to get sandwiched between those two trees towards the end. Yeah. Great shot. Kyle looking to just turn something over. I like that there. forcing over and like an overstable approach disc. Yeah. Just make sure that it's going to stay straight on the line and he wanted it to finish a little bit to the left. Don't know who went out and planted that, uh, that bush the night before the second round, but good play. Good play. Yeah. Austin. It's one of the many trees. Forgivable on this hole. There's yeah. a few of them. See the forehand from Matthew. Oh, it didn't Ooh. flip up quite as much as he was hoping, but he got all the way down at least. Yeah. What's nice about this hole is if you, it looks like if you get off the main, the main line to the basket, it's not like you're sandwiched between trees that are sort of staggered with each other. It looks like you have another line to get to the basket. Yeah. Austin. 
right side. Wow, nice bid. Yeah. Nice up. Matthew, from way downtown. Boom. Rains it. Nice. Beautiful putt. Nice floaty Anheuser. Part of the chains. Yeah. He needed that. Acting like he's been there before. Always a good move on camera. Yeah, Kyle. Kyle. Nice putt from Kyle, too. Okay. I think the camera jitters are off. Yep. For the two new guys on coverage here. Actually, they're all they're all new guys. We got a whole new second card. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Noah and Austin and Kyle have all been on Park Pro before. They're old hat at this. They knew exactly what's going on. Yeah. Was it just Matthew that's new to the... Yeah, this is our first time seeing Matthew on Park Pro. Cool. So, well, took a few holes, some jitters, some things going on, but... It's all shook off now. Back to playing some disc golf. Another 200-foot hole. Hole nine, par three. Another tunnel. Cool. Oh, yeah, straight up the middle. Oh, boy, how many the how many shots do you think straight to the right and all of a sudden you're down, down the bad fairway? Although, again, it looks... It doesn't look like it's you're completely lost if you end up on the right hand side. There's there's some openings to get around it, but yeah, the, the right hand side is fine. The left hand side is where you start heading into Bogey Town. It's kind of like the welcome to oh. Bogey Town sign. Oh, I hate you know, Bogey when you roll town. into a new town and it says welcome to scenic Bogey Town. Yeah, you know what? They offer discounted rates to stay in Bogey Town. Really, I think it's a great idea. Huh. But then you get to Bogey Town, you're like, yeah, this isn't a discount. <laughs> In fact, I got charged double for what I got. Mm. Yeah. And then you look down the road to double bogey town. You're like, well, at least it's better than there. Yeah. Wow. Uh, what? Look at this what? shot. Oh. Look at this shot. Oh, Kyle. Oh, boy. Uh, you looked like you were in disbelief. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. What you're seeing on film here from behind the players is exactly what I'm seeing. So when it looks like somebody almost aces it on coverage here it looked from my eyes like they almost aced it too so Matthew hitting an early tree this is definitely not one of the forehand well, what okay ideal holes on this one Austin says interesting idea he doesn't like tunnels he's not a big fan sure. of tunnels sure. let's go all the way over the top yeah thought it off a little bit but might have a chance from there not crazy buried can still pitch out and at least get his par Noah from a long way. All the way from Lethbridge. <laughs> Doesn't get it to fall. Ooh. Scampers off into the the forest. Solid bid. There's no putt that Noah doesn't look at and say, yeah, I've made this before. I could make this again. Very true. And Matthew really gets lucky oh, wow. here by being in that hallway. Yeah, no kidding. That could have been serious trouble from there. Austin, much closer to the basket. It looks like he's got way more of those small branches in the way. So good luck for Matthew on the on the landing. Bad luck for Austin. Still got a look, but he does wow. catch one branch on the way out. Matthew oh, does no. does not clean up the par. There's pain yep. on that face. There's sadness in those there eyes. There was a... Owen, Noah... That's, I think, the first, like, real miss that we've seen from Noah on a putt that he should make. Yeah. So, five strokes up right now. But like I said, there are some birdie bogey holes on this course. And a beautiful nice birdie from Kyle. Kyle after nearly ringing up the ace. You always want to get your birdie after almost making an ace. Yep. Taking a breath. Otherwise, you feel silly. Sigh of relief. Oh, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> and Austin. Easy par. So he's going to get one back on Noah there. Oop. Four back. Okay. And that's and the front Kyle's nine. He's got himself a little bit closer into that uh, podium picture as well. Yeah. You want to throw a smooth? Just like that. He just flings it. Yeah. Speaking of effortless. Just like that. Oh, we effortless beauty. <laughs> front nine here in round two. No, Higgins. Four stroke lead over Austin going into the back nine here. Kyle's only two back of Austin. We got Brandon five down through 10. He has made his way up above Josh Smith. He is in fourth place right now. Josh six through 11. Doing well to keep himself in contention. Anthony Newfeld, Clint Buchert, Leighton Hines, Matthew Erickson, and Al Rabia all rounding out the top 10 here. Some locals, but we've got some Alberta, 
fellers. We got Austin from Manitoba. Everyone's invading the province of Saskatchewan. Trying to take this crown. Should be fun. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot more fun holes coming up on the back nine here. Cool. Won't you please be please, my neighbor? Please. Please. And stick around for the back nine. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey, Jeremy. You want to see a magic trick? What? What? Oh. Whoa! <laughs> 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 <laughs>